Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a daily. Um, I, I, my brain's not working right now. Like, I, I forgot what the series is called. Basically, the daily lineage red knights shit that I do every day. Um, <laughs> my brain is so not working properly. I think I might be, might be a little bit too fucked up. But anyways, I, I, I still want to make some videos. Um, I found out that I was actually, I was actually like really sick. It wasn't just me losing my voice. Like I actually do have a sore throat. Uh, but actually, I got some medicine for that. So I'm, I'm, I'm going ham. All right, I don't, I don't give no shits. I just, I'm, I'm still here to make videos. Still here to do whatever um, as best I can. Anyways. Uh, the show, the show must go on. All right, the show must go on. So we're gonna do some summons. We're gonna do some PVP, and we're gonna do the tower, everything. I hope that I get lucky enough because I only need three, three, uh, three more pieces in order to get the Zenith Queen. I think. Oh wait, I need four more pieces. All right, I'm gonna have to be very, very lucky if I wanna. Wait, how lucky do I have to be? No, wait, I can only get three eight max a day, so it's, it's impossible for me to get her today. But hopefully, I can get her tomorrow. Um, maybe we should start with a raid. Right, let's start with a raid first. Discovered by me. Or should I help these guys out? I don't know if there's any any use in helping people out. Because if you think about it, um, you get finder's reward for the like you get you get access to all these things, and um, you only get participation reward from from these. But I guess topaz and sapphire and all that all that stuff is pretty nice too. I don't know if I don't know if it's worth it though. I really don't. I really don't know if um, if hitting the raid boss, like even if you didn't find it, is worth it. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just hit the one I I found. Wait, there's only ten minutes left. Okay. Um, let's scratch that. Let's let's hit this one. Let's hit. Uh, let's just let's just hit one for the participation reward because the one I found I found a, a little while ago, so I probably won't be able to do anything. This this monster, I'm not planning to raise her anymore. I think she's called Sierra or something. Um, I'm not planning to raise her anymore, so I'm probably gonna start stop using her for the raid team. I'm gonna use the Elder to substitute, but he's not physical damage, so I probably won't be doing as much um, as much damage to the boss. All right, let's uh. Wait, let's act, let's activate Owen. He has defense broken, right? Yeah, he has defense broken now. And Owen's attack buff and crit buff is up. It kind of sucks how I lose the CC resist when I turn to Owen, because that would be, would have been really nice, like while the boss is running at me to to resist that CC. It it kind of sucks how there's no uh. There's no DPS, like there's no damage dealer in the game that has uh, that has attack buff or something like that. I'm not sure if there is. Maybe I missed one. But I, I've been looking through the skills of a lot of monsters yesterday, and I I, I found out that the uh, the boss doesn't actually um well not not the boss. I I, I can't think right now. Like I, I can't talk. I'm I'm so so fucked up. Uh, <laughs> Must must be because I'm I'm, you know. Hopefully I don't I don't start fevering up. But I'm I'm still gonna, still gonna try my my best to to do this. Did I do 50% HP? Oh, what was I talking about? I was talking about um, I want a damage dealing monster, like an actual damage dealer that has that ha like physical damage dealer that has attack buff for my entire team. You know, something something like that would be really really nice. I think it would just. It would just make everyone do so much more damage. Um, I did find someone with like the, the haste buff, and if I do that, I can actually switch out Owen. Like originally, when I when I theory crafted before with Owen, um, I didn't know that her damage buff basically doesn't last that long. It basically only lasts when you activate her, and you you lose it immediately after. So, you it might be better to use the guy, you know, Zeline, because he. He actually has, um, he, he probably has more single target damage than Owen if you're using him for raids. But I'm not sure which, which one is stronger for, uh, for PvP or for, for like, clearing through levels. Because cause right now, the most important thing I think right now, like, if you're past level 36, is to get your team as strong as possible. Um, 
I, I noticed yesterday, actually, I wanted to show you guys this as well. I, I cleared through, I cleared through, um, stage 7 yesterday. I wasn't able to get perfect clears on these, these stages, because they're really, really hard. Like, I had to cheese my way through it. Um, they, they do so much damage, like, insane amounts of damage. Uh, but I, I was able to cheese my way through it, because they're only magical damage. I, I got through it by raising, raising this guy. Um, he's only one star, but I, I happened to have just picked him up yesterday. I got him to epic quality, and well, not epic. Um, what's this? Rare quality or or something like that? The the purple quality. Um, I got him to purple, and I got him to level 34. But I wasn't able to raise his star because I don't have an, enough um, enough pieces of him. But I was able to um, since the boss was like mostly magical damage. I was able to just um, do it like beat him by by manualing. So I, I would wait for him to, you know, about when he's about to use his nuke, I would activate the skill and then just absorb the incoming uh, magical damage that the boss does on my team. And I was able to, to cheese my way through, through those three stages, or else your team basically like just melts in like, you know, three seconds, or the the instant that the boss um, does his nuke. All right, let's let's do some PVP as well. Um, God damn it, we have like per four star, you know, um, blessed stone, you know, red quality Adels. Now, it's it's insane. I don't even know how I beat these guys anymore. Wait, oh god. Can I, can I even beat anyone lower rank than me? Is it, is it even possible? Actually, is this comp good? Wait, let's let's try to let's try to revenge someone. Hmm, can I beat him? Wait, I might be able to beat this guy. Oh wait, no, he he has a he has that set as well for his Lara. Do I do? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take these two out. I'm gonna use my usual comp. Actually, wait. Let's 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 try my PVE comp, like my strongest PVE comp against against this team. I don't know if I can survive though. It's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit hard. I don't know if he's gonna he's gonna melt instantly. Actually, no. They don't have a lot of damage. I might be able to do this. I I need to win some revenges for uh. For the for the mission, anyways. Oh, he's using Zeline. Oh shit! Actually, wait. That's that's really bad. Come on, I need to kill his tank like really fast. All right, nice. I just need to burst down this Olga before she has another heal, and then I win. Okay, I have my AOE. Now you're fucked. Oh shit. What the fuck is this? Please crit more than her? Oh my gosh, she crit. She crit on me. Yes, that was faster. That was faster. Suck it. <laughs> that was so dumb. That was the that was the dumbest arena match ever. Um Whoa! I can't believe, can't believe that just happened. Um, anyways, I, I do have a few things I need. I want to do. Like, I think I want to take advantage of the. Um, oh yeah, I, I was gonna. I need to do some destiny systems to fight the Zenith Queen. So like, some of my monsters have like this death, the the destiny to like, um, to have to defeat the Zenith Queen, like this one. And I also need to use them to win some Colosseum battles. So I probably want to complete these as well. But yeah, she also has another um, destiny to defeat the, the Zenith Queen. And I'm not sure if these ones have any sort of destinies to do. Wait, what's the what's the time rift for, for today? Let's take a look at the time rift. Is it 
it Lost King's Tomb? A False King's Tomb. Um, I think a few of my monsters also have the destiny to complete this stage as well. A few of my main monsters actually have it. Or it was over here. So I need to use this guy. I also need to use my Succubus. And also... Um, I don't need to use her. She also needs it. I'm not sure if I want to raise hers though. Not completely sure if I want to do that. I'm just I'm just checking like which monsters actually need to need to clear a false king's tomb. Probably not gonna use Bugbear. Ever. All right, none of these monsters are usable. So basically, um, basically, my this guy, my succubus, needs it. Like these are two of my main monsters, and also her. So I might as well use these. Just make sure to use these three. Um. A time rift. All right, uh, let's let's fight the level 34 version of him. Does he need it? I might as well use him anyways. I'm not sure if I'm gonna raise Medusa though. Yeah, I'll just use this team. This team should be pretty strong. Wait, it has no healers. I just I just realized that we have no heals. Alright, fuck it, who needs heals? He's by himself. Gank him. Well, there goes my perfect clear. Oh wait, this is really bad. I'm not I'm not entirely sure we can do this. Actually no, we're we're good. Oh my god, he just healed back. What is this bullshit? What the fuck? I'm dying. I'm actually dying. Oh my god. My team's falling apart. He has lifesteal. <laughs> Alright, that that wasn't that wasn't too bad. That that honestly wasn't too bad. Wait, I can do stage seven now, but he's level forty-three. I think I'm probably gonna get wrecked if I try this. I wonder. Um, wait, I have to defeat him in the False King's Tomb, not just clear it, right? So for for the purpose of my destiny, I probably should uh just stick to this stage. Want to petrify him? Oh my god, he resisted or some shit. I think we're fucked. Oh no, I feel like I have way worse RNG than last game or last last round. You know, pushback is actually really strong in this game because um, when your when your guys are standing in the front line, when certain monsters that have like AOE skills that only hit front line unit, that only like that does hits like three units. But um, if they're too far apart, it won't hit. It'll target the frontline unit. It won't hit anyone in the back. So, so if you have like a pushback, it makes it so you can push the frontline into the back, and then um, all your AOEs will hit the same, like hit everyone, basically. All right. Nice. I got my destinies completed. I just need I just need a few more destinies. The ones um, to clear the Zenith Queen. Also want to do that today. All right. Still need to clear it two more times with her, but um, should be fine. So we need to bring our orc guys into the Zenith Queen place. 
because they they need to clear it. Uh, yeah, we need to clear it two more times with him, and uh, he also needs it. He needs it two more times as well. And I think that's pretty much it. Who else needs it? He doesn't need it. She needs it. I might as well use her. I'm not sure if I want to even raise her in the future, to be honest. But I might as well do it since it's like I, I get evasion for free just by doing it. Alright, back to stage 8. Hopefully I get like two pieces today, and then like I get at least one piece tomorrow, and then I'll have the Zenith Queen. Actually no, if I, I need two, four more pieces, so like two pieces today, two pieces tomorrow. Or if I can get three pieces today, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, this is the right stage. So I need to use these two. I can't use him. But I have to use her. And then bring a healer as well. Actually no, let's let's just not use Olga, let's use my bunny. I just hope nobody dies, but nobody should die. This is like first ten stages of the game. Oh my god, it didn't spawn. Alright, I have a few more chances. Oh, I, I found out what those coins are for. You know the coins that drop? Like the, these random coins that drop here and drop from uh, from the, the raid boss? You just sell them for money. They actually sell for quite a lot. That's why I have so much gold. I sold all my coins from like from day one of playing, basically. I sold all my coins yesterday. Wait, am I farming the right stage? Yeah, this is floor 7, right? Or was I supposed to be farming floor 8? I, I think I was supposed to be farming floor 8. Maybe. But if it spawns a boss, it doesn't matter. It's all good. Alright, let's let's hope we get we get somewhat lucky. I feel like the game, like, I don't know, it doesn't it doesn't let you have enough like tanks and healers, I think. Like there's a lot more DPS than there are like anything else. If you wanna like run two tanks, you're like pretty limited. Or if you wanna run two healers. Oh, so unlucky. Maybe 4 7 is luckier today. Or maybe it's because I didn't activate Owen. Lara's actually faster at clearing these stages because she has an AoE, and Owen's um, nuke is single target. But it, it hits super hard, like Owen's nuke hits, hits crazy hard. It does armor ignore damage. Alright. More armor breaker. GG baby. Oh please, please. Oh my god, what is wrong with today? What is with my luck today? Alright, um the only way we get the Zenith Queen tomorrow is if I get if I spawn her in the next run and get her to drop a piece. Or else I have to wait for till the day after. Side, 
I wish there was a counter to Adele. Like, I've been thinking, it's been, it's been the, oh my god, I didn't spawn anything. Rip. Well, let's, uh, let's use my last ticket to progress. I think I'm on 24 now. Let's clear 24 and try to get to, get to 25. I'll feel really bad if the vampire spawns, though. Like, I, I really want the vampire as well. I wish it was an even no number instead of an odd number. I guess it doesn't matter, because it doesn't have a 100% chance to spawn the boss anyways. It just feels really bad when you have, like, one ticket left over. And then you, you spawn a boss, you know? Well, today is really, really bad RNG. Um, I think we're almost done. Last little thing is to... Maybe I should save that one summon. Right, I'm, I'm gonna do a... I'm gonna actually do a 10 summon afterwards. Not not in this video, I'm probably gonna make, gonna make a separate... Make it a separate video so I can... So I can clickbait, alright? So I can clickbait. Um, anyways... <laughs> um... What, what am I doing? I... I want to do one more arena battle. I want to I want to actually com uh, complete some of the destinies for my two orcs because I need to use. I remember why I set the the two orcs because I I wanted to complete a destiny with them. So I basically take out these two, put in the two orcs because they need to win some arena battles for for some for a certain destiny quest. And uh, let's let's refresh until I get someone easy. Okay, none of these are easy. This is bullshit. All right, that guy just now probably was the easiest one. This guy? Can I beat him? Hmm, could probably beat him with this. Alright, Owen buff, armor break. Well, I'm waiting to land armor break. If I land armor- oh yes, I landed armor break. Alright, now you're fucked. Come on, crits, crits, crits. Oh shit. Actually no, I already killed two monsters. His healer is probably gonna die before he gets his next heal off. Yeah, definitely dead. Please, no crazy nukes. Alright, nice. Nice. I'm probably gonna do that for the rest of my arena tickets. Uh, maybe save like one last one to try to get to top 100 if I can. That's, that's pretty much it. Alright, I think that's, that's the end of it. Yeah, that's that's basically everything for today. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.